everyone, this is me, Savia Thu, and I'm back with another bonus read, which is going to be for all of you out there who really want to know what's going to come for you in your life next. What shall you prepare yourself up for? We're going to find out that with the cosmic insights in this reading. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's find out what shall you prepare yourself up for coming in your life. Let's find out. Narcissist, someone is too full of themselves. Um, I really feel like you, know, you have to be careful of that energy, uh, which is either already a part of your life, be that in love, work or home life, or it can be a person who's going to enter in your life in the coming days to weeks time that you have to be very careful with. Um, and if you meet someone like that, make sure that you can pick up the signs and messages and the red flags. Try not to kind of like, you know, cover up their, their um, narcissistic uh, attitude with the uh, saying or by giving them benefit of doubt at all. I feel like, and especially if it is somebody that you're making a big decision about, make sure that you see the red flags as red flags. Don't try to um, sugarcoat it for yourself so you don't have to deal with shit later on. Let's see more messages. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe you have been dealing with someone like that who has always been so egoistic, so selfish, someone who has been in themselves most of the time. And they were always like, you know, talking good about themselves and blaming you for the failures and blaming you for the fights and arguments. I really feel like, you know, if you have been dealing with someone who is a narcissist, I really see that you will be putting an end to that cycle in your life in the times to come. For some of you, careful, maybe this is somebody who is yet to enter in your life. But just know one thing. Don't let this person make you feel bad for who you are. Just kick this person out of your life if that's how they start treating you or start making you feel like. Now, for some of you, you might have been dealing with a narcissist for quite some time. And you have been dealing with their shit over and over again, giving them a chance, thinking that maybe they will be get it, getting better again. Nothing happened. If that has happened with you, it's time for you to put an end to that cycle. Something new, something beautiful will come through. Don't hold yourself back thinking that maybe you will never find love. This person doesn't love you even. Like, you know, if, if you are not having love in the future, at least you don't have shit right now in your life so try and understand that i really see there is a cycle that's going to come to an end and a new cycle is going to begin for you which is going to be more healthy more positive so your fate is going to take you forward the karmic rewards are coming in for you so again try to um let things end if things are ending and move forward something better and bigger will come through let's see what else the divine really wants you to prepare yourself up for Ooh, intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, it's high time that you put an end to a toxic connection that you might have been having uh, with someone specific in your life, somebody who always looked down upon you and somebody who always made you feel bad. It's time for you to stand up for yourself and don't worry about whether you will find love again or not. Trust me, the divine has a better plan. You are fated to have your karmic reward. And if you have been through a lot with this person, with people in your life in general, kick them out of your life and move forward, move on. There is something beautiful coming up for you that you that is going to be like, you know, making you stop worrying about the past at all. I feel like you know, for some of you, I really see that there is the, you know, whatever you are, you know, maybe it's a situation in your work life for some of you. So if some, some job is getting toxic, maybe you need to put an end to that and move on. You will find a better one. Um, I really feel like, you know, when we talk about your love life, I really see good things coming in. You will be having a lot of chemistry with someone specific in your love life. Uh, there will be a lot of intimacy that you're going to share. It doesn't have to be just the sexual intimacy. It can be otherwise as well. But yes, I really feel like you know, there is a new um, um, or revival of, of uh, uh, intimacy within a relationship as well for some of you. And I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you might be so addicted to someone from the past or somebody that you're currently dealing with who is a narcissist 
that it's hard for you to pull away from this person because you have been so close to each other and you have been so um you have felt so much chemistry with that person you might be missing that person in your life in the times to come maybe you will miss that person a lot but this is not a healthy relationship especially if it is just the sexual intimacy that you have shared with this person and you're missing that i feel like you know it's it's like you're you are you know it's it's costing you a lot to be honest and i feel like you know you shall not let it happen to you because it's just gonna scar you emotionally so if something like that has been happening that you have missing someone and you have going back and allowing this person back in your life to hurt you again just for this intimacy i feel like it's time for you to end that situation and i feel like you know that's gonna happen where you are gonna have an ending and a new beginning will take place for you let me take last card for this read let's see what it says we do have the sexuality someone is still figuring themselves out i really feel like you know for some of you i really feel when we talk about this i really think that whoever it is that you are dealing with they are it seems like you know with this card especially somebody is hard you know finding it hard to um feel control in their life right now so what they do is they try to control you instead. Maybe they are having tough time in their work life and they try to take that out on you and they feel like only you are the one who is, um, you know, submissive to them or somebody who is like, um, um, who is, who is uh, allowing them to have a control on uh, on you. I feel like, you know, that is something which might have been kind of like, you know, your peer person is, um, you know, they, you are feeding their ego. You are feeding their, you know, such behavior. And if you could stand up for yourself, it is all going to stop. Now, I feel like, you know, as you're going to put an end to the situation in the times to come, in the days to come, you will see this person changing because they will be able to figure themselves out in a better way. Right now, maybe because of you and the love that you might have been feeding them, your relationship has been like in a in a very um um in a very toxic way uh moving forward this has to end this toxicity has to end and the only way to end this toxicity is by not catering this person until unless they deal with their inner struggle and they fight for themselves and they come to the conclusion and deal with their attitude you know that they are you know having right now um i feel like you know, for some of you maybe you are sticking around this person because you love this person it's not just this intimacy with you, you for you but for the person whoever it is that you're dealing with who keeps coming back to you maybe it's just that for you for, for them and this is what you are for them as well so i feel like you know it's very important right now for you to break a cycle and um change your uh situation with the, when it comes to your love life because that's very important the divine really wants you to work towards it because you might have um you know been with the wrong person and if you don't let go of it and if you don't uh break free from it and if you don't heal from it you will attract the same kind of person so for some of you, you might have been attracting the same kind of people in your life as well who are narcissist be that in love work or home life and to break the cycle you have to heal yourself as well you have to start working on your um on your uh, personal growth as well because i feel like you know you will only let this happen to you where the person uses you abuses you and then blames you for the failures in the relationship is it's because you are letting that happen to you once you take stand for yourself this all will come to an end let me take one oracle card for you let's see what the divine has uh, has to say to you in regards to the situation that you are having right now I feel like, you know, you have to simplify your life for yourself. You have to do it for yourself. You cannot let it happen to you. Um, especially, you know, if, if you have been through, uh, if you have been going through some tough cycles in your love life, you it's, it's time for you to break that cycle. It's time for you to uh, clear the path for yourself to move ahead in your, love, uh, in your love life. Make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive. Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Again, I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you might have been feeling the urge to take a decision about this person that you might have been dealing with for quite some time. And um, But it's a tough decision because probably you have love for them. There is a past. There is like, you know, maybe a years of your life that you have been like, you know, spending with this person. But it's time for you to make a decision and listen to your intuition stop ignoring your inner call and take that decision i feel like in you know, a majority of you you would be putting an end to this relationship that you might be having with somebody who's a narcissist narcissist and i feel like you know for some of you i really feel like you know um even if you have a very solid connection with someone because i feel like you know when this card came in i feel like maybe you will see your relationship having more intimacy uh, within that particular connection but with all the other cards it seems like you are with someone who takes you 
for granted and when they want you they need you they come to you and then they leave you again hurt and you know kind of uh, wounded again i really feel like in for majority of you this is how it is going to resonate with you even if there is intimacy coming in or returning back in your life it is going to be with a narcissist and i feel like you know, it's better not to have that intimacy than to have it with the wrong person i feel like you know, it's better not to have that um take your decision and make sure that you stick to that and don't allow this narcissist to come back in your life again so yeah that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read take care bye